Alicia. Um, I am 35 years of age. I am originally from Dallas, Texas. Uh, what brought me here is my addiction to alcohol. Um, it started November 2022. My dad passed away November 8th. Um, I noticed that it stopped being a social thing for me and started being more of um, I have to. I need to. I want to, you know, and to cope, you know, because I didn't know what an escape plan was for me at that moment. So I would just escape through a bottle. It was from November to February. So I found myself drinking Sunday through Saturday. And then my health, my physical health, my mental health just all started deteriorating. And I noticed that changes were just no appetite, no motivation. Didn't want to go to work, didn't want to care for myself. Um, hate to say it, didn't care for my kids like I should have been. And so that went on long enough. Three months was long enough to go through a situation like that. I realized when my kids told me, um, adults can definitely tell you things and you can just kind of pass it off, you know, whatever. But my children started noticing behaviors that weren't quite of their mother, you know, and for that, I decided to get help because I wanted to be better for them, if not anyone else, myself and them. I ended up being rushed to the hospital because I blacked out really bad um, and I had high blood pressure. So once I got to the hospital, they did talk to me about behavioral centers and group therapies. Um, I did attend those and they were working for me for a while, but I felt like I needed something a little bit more um, since it had already got past the point of you know, no return. So I heard about PPR through them, um, the behavioral center. I figured that it was perfect opportunity for me. I realized I had to relinquish some control because I had a problem. And facing that for me was difficult because a lot of times when you are under the influence of alcohol or any substance that is really, that alters the mind or that's really not good for you, it becomes one of those things where I don't I don't have a problem you know what I mean I said that for like three months I don't have a problem I don't have a problem but I started seeing changes physically that I was like this is me right now you know like this cannot be so it made me feel like I've let I've let myself down and I let my family down so I was angry at myself I was mad at myself I was disappointed in myself and I blame my, myself for a lot of things because there were so many things that could have been taken care of and I really, really lacked in those areas. So I felt really, really sad about it, lonesome. So I was still doing group therapy and I was seeing a therapist and a psychiatrist outside of here. But um, I said, you know what, let me give this a shot. So I looked up Discovery Point Retreat the website was definitely informative. Um, I found a lot of information that would fit my needs at that time, and so I gave them a call. The process over the phone was so smooth, it kind of already felt like I was here. You know, I felt very welcome over the phone, and once they gave me a date and a time to come in, it was like hugs. It was just so, it was a warm feeling. It was like, hey, welcome, and I, I felt instantly like this is the place for me. I never felt judged. It was more so as um, a family feel. It really, it felt like I was, where where was this, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like why hadn't I find this sooner? I didn't feel judged. I felt very just at home. I felt a sense of relief. I felt passionate to go ahead and start my journey to recovery. Um, they gave me all the tools necessary to start out with and if I did feel some type of way um, I had a lot of people around me that I could talk to. As a matter of fact, I want to share this um, His birthday was June 8th, 2023 So what a therapist decided what they would do is do a balloon release So they blew up balloons for my father's birthday Had me write a sweet message inside of that balloon and we all just you know, not just me I wanted everybody to participate. She allowed everybody to participate, write messages, and we all did a balloon release. And that made me, that right there made me like, yeah, 
BPR is the spot to be <laughs> for recovery, of course. But yes, it made me feel very, very welcome, welcome at that moment because it was like you're not just another person. You know, you just we we still we want to care for you, we want to take care of you, and we we take your personal life as well seriously. And instead of being the type of person just welling in the bed or laying down all day. Um, they came up with group activities, um, coping skills. How can we help you? Do you need any type of counseling today? We're here. I've been here 22 days. I, I've never felt more clear-headed in my life. I have so much clarity, so many tools, um, so many activities that not only work your physical body, but your mental health, um, you know, help with your mental health. If I could stay here a lot longer, I promise you I would, because a lot of times we get to the point where we feel like, okay, we, we can't do it anymore. We make that personal choice like, hey, I miss family or whatever have you. But I can say I found another home. I found another family, genuinely found another family. And I feel so comfortable here. And it's just the, family oriented place for me can't speak for anybody else but for me it is at first when i came it was hard for me to open up simply because um not because of dpr but just i had never done this before this was my first time ever going to um going through recovery um but once i want to bring up a tool which is called smart recovery and also there's another um it's it's a book called alcoholics anonymous those two tools have definitely helped me. And then with a list of coping skills, when I feel stressed or when I feel anxious or when I feel depressed, they do give you paperwork or they give you um, books to read or assignments that you can do in your spare time when you're you know, by yourself to work on that. And so they're big on journaling your feelings, letting it out, being having that release. And so I got to the point where I was like, okay, I'm writing this down, but everybody else is sharing. So let me go ahead and share a part of my story. And once I did that, you have people that really relate to it. You think you're in it alone. You really do sometimes. It's like, okay, well, you haven't walked a mile in my shoes. Maybe not your shoes, but I've been down the same path as you. So that's what makes us feel comfortable because it's like we're here for you even if it's a tap on the shoulder a hug or words of encouragement therapists they go out of their way you know outside of our personal sessions to make me feel as if we want to get you back on track if you're feeling this way don't hesitate to let me know um, how you're feeling and we can schedule something or we can just have a sit down and it's almost like to a point where you're are you talking to a therapist? It kind of feels like that friendship vibe that you get from them because they relate to you. They don't just tell you what to do or what can necessarily make it a better path or journey for your recovery. They say, well, this is what I've been through. This is something that I do. This is how I would do it. And if you want to give that a try, you can definitely do that. But they relate to our situations if anybody doubted therapy you know what i mean and if you come to dpr they have an awesome awesome staff of therapists i can tell you i am an earth sign so i definitely relate to outdoor activities and just meditation outside i have grown to love and appreciate trees grass dirt everything that I took for granted previously. And sometimes you need nature so you can just be still. You know, there's chaos all around us every single day. But to be in the country, have, you know, land as big as this, with so much around us, it makes you appreciate life. It lets you know that, you know what? Let me go ahead and ground myself today. Let me go out and enjoy mother nature. And it's healthy healing. You know, a lot of people may not be into that, but I can definitely tell you if I can go outside, I go outside any chance that I get and just walk around, just appreciating that, hey, I'm breathing in air. 
you know, the, the trees provide that for me, you know, I see a rabbit or, you know, things I haven't seen in a long time. And I'm like, wow, you know, and um, I just found a newfound respect for animals, wildlife and the ecosystem, <laughs> really. <laughs> and I, I literally, when I first got here, I was like, okay, I'm a nature girl. But I was like, how is this going to incorporate into my healing process as well, too? Because I have, like I said, it goes back to relinquishing control of certain things in my life uh, where I could control what I would do on a daily basis if I didn't want to do that. And not necessarily saying that I have to do that here, but I'm more apt to do it because when you are given tools and when you are given advice from the therapist, from the staff, you kind of build a new perspective on why they are here and why they have this beautiful land and why they give you the the advice to say, hey, go outside today, get you some vitamin D, get soak in that sunlight. There's a pond down there, there's the trees, there's everything. And then it's just, once you do that, you get a lot more clarity and appreciation, I promise. It was hard to face some truths about myself and I was a little skeptical because I had never ever been to a facility like this before, but I'm glad I came because I've been showered with so much love, guidance, and patience. Uh, group meetings and therapy sessions have definitely helped me. Um, the peers that you meet here along the way as well, they help to guide you and steer you in the right direction. So overall, DPR um, is a great starting point for me. And since I am still here, I know that I will leave when I do leave on great terms make sure that your recovery comes first so that the people and things that you love in life doesn't have to come last. This journey is not going to be easy. Um, that's gonna take a lot of work from you as well too, but here at DPR, they definitely, definitely will lighten the load. Don't be afraid to acknowledge when you need help. Sometimes it's so difficult because you feel like you're past the point of no return, but it's never too late. It's never too late as a 35 year old. I feel like it's never too late to just get help. We're all in this together. Clarity, understanding, compassion, anything that you need, you will find it here. And I just hope that whatever brings you here, keeps you here enough or long enough to where you feel comfortable to go in the outside world, the best you and not the less you. Thank you.